Hello, 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 everyone. This is Irene with Soga Talks. Hello, I speak weekly with fascinating people in tech. And what fascinates me is that enormous, enormous response I get because my guests are experts, they're influencers, they're entrepreneurs. So follow Soga Talks. I have to put it in, you know, at the beginning of the talk. Follow Soga Talks on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter and YouTube. I do want to reach out to broader audience on YouTube. So if you're listening today, if you're watching any of shorter videos, so please make sure you like, you comment, and you share if points are relevant because we're trying, we're trying, yes, to bring some knowledge and wisdom to the world. So today I am uh, so privileged because with me here, Chuck Brooks. Chuck, how are you? Doing great. How about yourself, Irene? Doing really well. You know, it's kind of hot here where, where I am. I'm sure you're in East Coast. You feel? Uh, you yes, feel I'm in air conditioning. <laughs> exactly. Feels good to be in air conditioning. Exactly. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm so lucky to be able to talk to people and to, frankly, to raise questions that are relevant, you know, to, to a lot of people trying to get their life together, right? Trying to work in different ways and transform the businesses. So today we said we're going to talk about uh, emerging tech in cybersecurity. But to me, what's an interesting angle? So let's start with technology, maybe the driver to innovation. Sure. But I do want to get to business outcomes at some point. So, Chuck, what, where do you see the, the innovations coming from in cybersecurity? Because we need help. Yes. Well, you know, this has been a, a transformative couple of years. I think we, we all woke up and we recognized, oh, we're really, we really are in the digital era. Everything is connected. And now we're stuck at home. So I think a, a lot of the business models now have been changed you know, to do stuff digitally, uh, communicate digitally, and particularly with cybersecurity, protect your digital communications and your data. So I think with, with the, the transformation, we've, uh, we've come to recognize that there's some, some key technology tools that are influencing these outcomes, uh, one being artificial intelligence, the other being machine learning, part of artificial intelligence, uh, 5G for communications, the Internet of Things, where there are going to be as a, a three times as many connected devices in the next few years, and there are people, and of of course a, a variety of other technologies dealing with nanotechnologies to precision medicine, and particularly what of interest to me is is the neurotech uh, phase that's happening right now with uh, the human brain interface, and so it, it really comes down to a lot of it, and it's, it's really computing power, and we've vastly increased our computing power um, in several ways, uh, particularly with supercomputing. And, and the way we've been able to consolidate and analyze data, and, and that's largely through through artificial intelligence type of technologies. Amazing, amazing. So is company embracing, right, embracing new technologies. So uh, where do you see the low-hanging fruit? Because well, we hear, right, yep, yep. Yeah, well, there's, there's a, there's no, I don't know if there is any real low-hanging fruit because it's a very competitive market, but I think what's happened is businesses recognize that everything is being automated. And uh, the reliability of your ability to do business is dependent upon a secure uh, digital ecosystem that is uh, tooled with the, with the very best practices, as I mentioned, and also technologies um, that are able to give you a differentiator. And this is, is being involved in not just the you know the, the transactional aspect of business, but the planning of acts of business and, and analytics, in particularly involved in all the data. As you know, it's cliche, but data is a new oil. And that is really true. And businesses are changing their model to realize that protecting their data or their crown jewels is essential. And everything dealing with the strategy around that now uh, involves the, the transfer of that data, the protection of that data, and the use of that data. Absolutely, absolutely, Chuck. So I'm learning about emerging technologies and trends on Gardner Radar. Okay, and I'm following Gardner, of course, for many years, and I like how they actually changing the trends on their circle, on their like magic circle, if I can call it. So they talk about edge AI. Okay, that's really transformative, right, in every uh, business and advanced computer vision and low code. Okay, do you see those trends prevailing in cybersecurity adoption or not yet? Well, you know, I, I think they are. I mean, uh, first of all, Gartner is, is very good, very accurate in their predictions. Uh, I, I commend them. Uh, I read them and, and Forrester and, and IDG and several others on a regular basis. Uh, but I think they've really, I mean, really we are the, in the beginning in the age of artificial intelligence and the question of how you define artificial intelligence. We, we have machine learning primarily, which is able to recognize patterns and, and act on those patterns and, and speed up transactions, speed up ability to compute, et cetera. But we don't really have a, a sentient artificial intelligence that thinks for itself yet. 
we may in the near, not so near future, in the distant future, depends who you who believe in. And so, you know, the, those those technologies are already impacting us. And robotic product assess automation is being used widely now. Uh, chances are, if you're calling a call center, you're talking to, you know, an, an algorithm or a robot and a, and a screen. So, you know, we're already there. We're at the beginning of that era. And the question is how how much and how quickly it transforms. And I think if you look at the exponential changes that are happening right now, it's a good barometer of what's going to be in the near future because because of the of the, the amount of research being done in industry, uh, government, and, and academia right now is so much focused on the emerging technology capability in the fourth industrial revolution, which is the connectivity of it. Um, I think you know we're going to make uh, growth and, and and grow by bounds that you uh, haven't seen before, and and I would not expect uh, us to be surprised if we're we're soon into the quantum era.